What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dragon's Dog. But you know what's weird? Every time I play Darkest Dungeon, I will open the gate. He's rushing me, right? Oh, yeah, look at that. There's goblins everywhere. Let's open the gate, shall we? Open the gate! Fun fact, that goblin's only job is to point things out. He's the only one with decent eyesight. All the rest of them are nearsighted and shit, so they gotta have him point stuff out for him. Otherwise, I'll never get any job done. You know, today is... I'm not gonna stab him just because you're giving him a hug from behind. I'm gonna save the wizard first. You've got a warped sense of urgency. I just don't want my wizard to get stabbed anymore. It makes me feel like I'm a bad friend if I allow friends to get stabbed on my watch. It's pretty amazing right now that I'm even functioning, all things considered. It is... Oh, man, I stabbed my own... Damn it, cow. I really wish the cow was not susceptible to friendly fire. It makes me sad that I can stab my own cow. Those guys look like they're trying to hold the... Did somebody explode me while I was looking at goblins? Damn it! The world's a hard place, isn't it? That being said, was out all weekend with friends. I think my blood might be like 90% liquor right now. I, I have no episodes for tomorrow if I don't get up and prepare something, but it definitely... Nah, we're further than halfway. I actually, I think the marking spot they use in this... Yeah, that's understandable. There's lots of conversations going on right now and it's overwhelming. I got that feeling you get like on a Monday when you're driving to work and you feel like you're going to fall asleep like at any moment even though you're on the freeway. I used to do that all the time, not fall asleep on the freeway, but feel like I was going to fall asleep on the freeway. Ow! Can somebody heal that tiny little wound, that little protuberance that he just opened up on my scalp? Thank you, sir. I need your glowing green foggy goodness. Ah! With the extra healing power of extra strength frogs. It's all witchcraft. Everything I know about witchcraft means that he had to use at least seven or eight frogs in the concoction of everything that he's using on me. Why do we have no light right now? I seem to remember... Hmm. Hold on, it's too dark. I can't see. Let's use... Oh, the lantern is half full. See, we're being positive right now. I'm a negative person. I always figured it would say half empty because that's just me. That's just me. When we get to the city, there's going to be all kinds of stuff that we need to get done. And that's really the point at which I don't really remember much about the game. Once we get to the city... I vaguely remember them sending me all over the place to kill random creatures, and then you do like a Monster Hunter gig for a while. And occasionally there's like a main storyline quest or something like that, but largely I just remember swinging a sword a lot, and just hoping that I don't die. It's Grand Soren. It looks like Grand Sitting to me. It's not a lot of soaring going on. Can you please stop trying to attack my snakehead? I have one thing in the entire world, and that's the snakehead that I'm trying to take to a guy named The Duke who supposedly will give me some kind of reward for this. If not, I will say, nay, sir, we shall no longer bring you any further snakeheads. Last time I brought a snakehead by your crib, you were like, oh, I'm not going to give you a reward for the giant snakehead. So if you're not properly incentivizing me giving you giant snakeheads, why would I continue to give you snakeheads, you know? I might just quit. I'm going to stab this guy because it seems like it would be fun. Yeah, there it is. And then we'll hack them all to death before they can get up and off the ground. Because that's exactly the sort of opportunistic warrior that we are. You got zapped with lightning, dude. Are you all covered with grease or something right now? Ah, Moonlight is a mechanic on weekends. Banditry in general hasn't been paying that well lately. Leave what to you? The fact that you're talking to yourself right now like there's a task at hand really concerns me, and you keep making everything glow with the power of lemony fresh. But yeah, my, my bloodstream is like 80% alcohol and like 20% candy right now. I posted on Twitter about it, how yesterday I essentially ingested nothing but hot wings, liquor, and candy. And it didn't work out. I am pleased to report that that was a terrible mistake and that I should not have done it. However, I got that feeling that you get when you're driving to work like hella early in the morning, like 5.30, where you feel like you're going to fall asleep because you only got two hours of sleep because you're up like half the night anyways because your girlfriend snores like a chainsaw. So, what I used to do in that situation, I would lower all the windows down. It'd be like the middle of winter. It'd be like 20 degrees outside and have all the windows down in my car. i have the music up as loud as possible just trying to keep myself awake while I was driving. 
Probably a bad plan. Probably a bad plan, but you know, you gotta work. Gotta work to pay them bills, otherwise everybody on Earth acts like you're a deadbeat. So it's like, drive to work super sleepy, or call in sick and have everybody treat me like a dirtbag. Ah well, nobody ever teaches you that class when you're in high school. The class that says, what do I do when I'm super sleepy and don't want to go to work, and also kind of hungover, but everybody treats me mean if I don't. Are you guys still coming? Alright. Just wanted to make sure that there was still some manner of progress happening, because these guys don't appear to really have a great sense of urgency. This is why this quest takes so long, is because they can't run. They walk it all super slow, even though they've got an ox. You've got an ox right there. You know the phrase, strong as an ox? I bet he could get up to a running speed and we'd be perfectly fine. This lamp upsets me. It's got to go. You said that like a... We will, we, will go we will arisen at some point. Maybe not for now. I might need a little nap, like a little charge-up power nap or something. I always feel worse after I nap, though. Naps never help. I almost universally wish that I had just stayed up whenever I take a nap. Because it always just makes me feel awful. And it reminds me of every time I play Quest for Glory, when you're poisoned, you try to sleep it off, they'd be like, After a rest, you feel worse than before. For some reason, I always think about that when I wake up from a nap. Like somebody's narrating my life, like Splattercat feels worse than before. Narrating my life would be the worst thing ever. God, it'd be so boring. Although, I do have to... Today's not going to be that boring because I got stream time today. Not the day that the video goes up. I always got to say this, but I'm recording You've on a... Arrived. Well done, men. A Hydra's head is a fine prize. His grace will be pleased with the cause work. Walk proud through these streets, men. We are heroes to the people of Grand Sorin. You see how she just she just absorbed all of the favor from our work. Like when we were on the way here, she was like, "It's your snakehead." Rest up, men. And then once we arrived, she's like, "All right, the core will take care of this because the core been out killing snakes." I'll make for the castle directly to offer my report to his grace. I'll have words sent for you, friend. Pray, sojourn in the capital a while. To the castle, men! Step lively! That guy looks moist. <laughs> ah, fortune smiles upon me. Well met, sir Edizen. I am called Mason, if it please you. Now you're come to the capital a conquering hero, you'll be needing aught to do, eh? My word to you, begin with the pawns. Inquire about them here in Grand Solid. Their kinds woven tight into the fate of the Arisen. If you know your destiny, know them. I feel more familiar with this quest now. Hooray! Stab Domino Steve has gotten a lovely large sum of money. First things first. So if I talk to this guy, what does he say? Ah, say, friend, have you chanced upon a strange old man of late? Shady me, the queer mumblings. They call him the Elysian. Name I hear far too often these days. Well, keep the man in mind. I have business with him myself. Okay. So apparently we're supposed to learn something about pawns. Aw, oh, she's done the quest already. See, these guys are like your own little quest hack. Like, you remember World of Warcraft when you get the mods that would tell you how to do all the quests? This is back before... So, back when World of Warcraft, like, came out, there was modding. And they didn't have all the little, like, quest things that they have now with the little bubbles to show you where everything's at or whatever. And so there were little mods that were quest helpers that would basically put, like, emblems on your map for, like, every single quest that you had. It blows my mind that somebody sat down and coded all that. Like, I really hope that they got something out of it, like World of Warcraft hired them or something. That would suck to do for free. First time in the capital? Best find lodging first. The inn's a grand source of news as well, what with folk coming in from all Grancis. There's a fine place just inside the city gates. Just look for the sign. Okay. So the city is one of those things where you can wander around for a while. There is stuff everywhere in Grand Soren, like up on the roofs, along the walls. There is treasure all over the place in this city. I don't know if we'll spend a ton of time running around getting it all, just because it seems like a waste of time to do on camera. But I... 
a coiffure. I'm not familiar with that word. Then again, my French is non-existent. Who art thou, lady with the glowing staff? Hello. Yes, oh, man, she wants me to hire her. I don't have any cash right now. I'm broke. I gotta stick with the pawns that I have. I can't be outsourcing. And but yeah, as I was saying, there's stuff like hidden everywhere in this town. You can walk up inside like all the houses. You can search just about everything. There's an absurd amount of stuff for you to obtain in this game. And so, you could probably spend... Oh, you dropped a blank scroll. I'll take that. That's a big-ass scroll, though. That's an enormous scroll. That scroll was like the size of a bazooka. Anyways, there's loads of stuff in the city that you can run around and grasp on. The downside to this is it'll probably take a good hour, hour and a half for me to get stuff. So, if we're interested in actually progressing along with the game and doing interesting things... My suggestion would be that we probably just get, like, some of the more obvious stuff. I would recommend that you look around for ladders, and then you just get up on the roofs of the buildings. And then you just kind of look around. On top of the treasure that's going to be up on the roofs, occasionally you'll look down and there will be little, like, isolated areas that are cordoned off by buildings and have no real entrance. There will be treasure chests in those two, or, like, top floor rooms like this one right here. There's all kinds of stuff. Like, seriously, you can get a ton of free loot up here. So there's a wake stone shard. I have no idea what that does. I assume it makes wakes when you throw it in a lake. But that's about all the guesses that I can take for right now. I'm probably just going to search the roof real fast. And we'll grab everything we can off the rooftops. But much past that point, the only reason that I'm doing this is sort of to illustrate the point that you should have a look around when you first get to Grand Soren. There's good things everywhere. And not having them will negatively affect your playthrough. If you're low on cash, check the roofs. If you need new curatives, check the roofs. If you're interested in new gear, once again, check the roofs. Also, look for little areas like this one right here. See what I mean? It's like an enclosed area that has no access point, And then there will be treasure inside of it. That one's actually just a journal entry. And I think we missed the second one. Although I'm not completely sure where the second one's at. From here on in, my knowledge of the game, like I said, is going to be a bit more sketchy. Because this is where it branches out and it becomes much more free... Much more free roam, much more open world, and so players may take different paths from here. And I vaguely remember my first playthrough. I was playing as a guy with a two-handed sword, but this was years ago now on the Xbox, so... Oop. Well, at least well, I fell off the roof. That's fine. Okay, so let's go back. We need to do some item shopping. That's going to be a big thing for us here. Now that we're in the capital, the capital has all kinds of sundries available that you never had access to before. In fact, all the stuff that you were trying to grab in previous episodes is kind of welfare gear. They got better stuff in here, and also you can run upgrades on your kit if you want to. These days, a good weapon's a need no different than food or shelter. The master works all, you can't go wrong. Says the guy selling the weapons. We've got a broadsword over here. That'll increase our attack, or attack power by about 40. So I definitely want one of those. That's 14,000 gold down. We also want to take a look. My recommendation would be that we should probably get new equipment for our pawn because it increases the chances that she'll get hired after we leave her. We've got an iron shield over here. We've got the wooden wall. It looks like that's for maybe the Templar or whatever. There, There's like a mage hybrid class that uses like bigger shields, tower shields and things of that nature. We'll probably multi-class into them later. Although I don't really have... A build selected just yet. I think maybe... I'm going to leave her stuff alone for right now. And then we'll fiddle with it in a minute. So we got a white cap right there. we got a chain quaff. we got a horned helm. Which is the dankity dank. So I'm going to take one of those. The skulker's mask. We can't wear it, but it sounded like it was awesome. Like it might result in some sort of bonus to our thieving skills. We've got a quilted jerkin. All this stuff looks like it's not very good. we got a doublet right there. A braided shirt down below that looks like it gives us a little bit of resistance to something. I can't really tell what that is on the right. Leather chest guard I think we've already been after. An assembled vest. And that's clothing right there, huh? Interesting. A leather waist wrap. I don't like waste. Waste not, want not. So I think I'll leave it alone for right now. A uh, bronze lorica. Do they actually not have any chain mail or anything over here? Huh. 
I was really actually sort of hoping that they would have something useful to me over here, but it looks like maybe not. I guess I'll leave that as is. We've got some bronze bangles, the leather gloves. We got, I think, big gloves on right now. Those bracers are sick as hell. It's like bracers that Aragorn would rock or like some hero from Gondor would wear as he does heroic stuff. Can anybody wear those? Oh, anybody can wear those. Well, shit, I might try to give them to my pawn then because they look badass. From here, we can have short shorts. Who wears short shorts? Splat wears short shorts. That horrible moment when you sit down and you notice that it's a defensive upgrade on something that's super ugly. That's the real RPG problems right there. We got steel cap boots. Some iron boots right there, which are basically the same thing that we already have. I'll probably take the chain hosen just because they seem awesome. And then do we have any real capes in here, or are they all just janky, like, discount capes that aren't really capes? Yeah, see, that's like a shoulder pad. That's like a mantle. That's barely a cape at all. I have trouble getting excited about that. Did I buy a new shield? I don't know if I did, but we're about to spend some money. So I might as well go all in right now, and then we'll worry about cash efficiency later. You shouldn't have too many issues with money anyways. It should be pretty forthcoming a lot of the time. And there we go. Spent a little bit of money, but we should be better equipped after this is all taken care of. So I'm going to equip that guy right there. Eh, it doesn't look quite as cool as our previous one, which had the little bit-out cookie cut in it, but whatever. Horned Helm. Swapping up our theme a little bit here. We definitely got a little bit more Viking-y. It definitely has like the little Viking. I wish you could put that down. That'd be so sick if you could put the visor down. I'd be hella stoked, but I can't, so I'm not stoked. My stokage is at an all-new low level. I'm going to be honest with you. I bought the chainmail mostly just because I wanted to look like a warrior, and I felt like chainmail was required to complete the overall ambiance of the image that we're trying to promote right now. For her, it's a little bit of a disappointment because I just bought her equipment. So I should have known better before I came back to the capital. Yeah, I guess you can rock that if it's a little bit better. And we've got a Criteria, so I didn't really buy anything for her. That's okay, though. Did I equip my weapons? Here, I don't think I equip my... My broadsword. Yeah, there it is right there. That attack power will definitely serve us a little bit better. Okay, then. And there are other shops. Like, there's all kinds of random little things in here you can buy. It just mirrors the game seem really dark. I don't know what's been up with, like, the daytime in this game so far, but it seems dim all the time. There's been a shipment of goods. The road is closed till it's been sorted. Have patience. It won't be long. I'd be more worried about the configuration of your eyeballs, my friend. You got like a Melvin thing going on that's a tiny bit conservant. Or a tiny bit concerning. First time in the capital? Best find lodging first. The inn's a grand source of news as a Ah, we already did that one. You you seem the type unlike to judge a man by his mean alone. I would ask you a favor, sir, if it please you. A wise choice. I warrant you'll be eager to hear what I have to say. I have long searched for a certain toll. Salomet's Grimoire. Tis said its pages hold the power to grant the reader command of grand arcane magics. The book itself is ensorcelled, you see. Even a novice is as a grand wizard with that grimoire in hand. I would ask you to seek it out. And bring it to me, sir. Recompense? Pray, let us speak of such things once you have found the book. Hell no. We talk about pay up front out here. Ain't nobody getting nothing for free off of this player. Not for a second. He's out here hustling. People trying to take advantage of us. There's the inn right here, I think. Yup. Are you the reason the men of the core speak of? Plainer air than I'd expected. Ah, forgive me. I spoke poorly. I simply imagined a sort of figure pulled right from legend. Pray, allow me to begin anew. 
I am Asala, and this is my inn. Though we deal in a number of trades here, I hope this is the first of many visits, sir. I am at your service. This would be the point at which normally I would ad lib an Asalam Alekum joke, but eh, I'll just point it out and I'll just be like, listen, there's an Asalam Alekum joke here. I could make it, but unfortunately, I don't think that I'm operating at my top capacity right now, so just fill in the joke as you desire. Oh, you wish to learn of the Pawn Legion? Then the shortest path to the answers you seek leads west from here. There you'll find Grand Soren's Pawn Guild. It is a gathering place for their kind. Just tell the sentries you have business with the guild. They'll let you past. Have your pick. Any you like. Alright, so how are we doing on skills right now? Oh, we got a bunch of deep... Okay, so that's... That's rocking it. We got loads and loads and loads of that stuff. Unfortunately, what does egression do? Facilitates easier escapes from battle. Why would you want that? Ain't nobody want to run from combat out here. I'm gonna sleep till morning and see if we can get a different like weather roll or something because it's too dark outside and it's upsetting. No, the server cannot be accessed. Sorry about that. I had that weird loading screen for a while. It was just sitting there. I find the configuration of beds in this inn to be very, very weird. You guys only have two. Huh, apparently I can sit in this chair right here. Come forth, main pawn. Let us speak of you and your life. Fire to fight the strongest monsters around. Does this please you, Arisen? Understood. Leave strong foes to me. I shall fell them without delay. I try to speak or remain silent as the situation demands. Would you have as you wish? I will attempt to be more talkative from now on. I trust we will see many victories together. How shall I celebrate our triumphs? As you wish. I like aggressive celebration. Celebration which doesn't look back. Celebration which says YOLO and looks to the future. Huh. Is that cloud wine right there? Can I borrow that? Yeah, you don't need it, do you? Exactly. You're not even a main character. Why would you worry? But it seems there's not you can take on at the moment. Best to try again later. There we go. We got a different weather roll this time. We've had that weird smoggy nastiness forever. So they said to go west. And the pawn's legion is over here. Maybe I have to go around this way. I'm not seeing anything that looks like a pawn legion. Hmm. Well then. Let us take a look at our quests. And figure out what we want to do now. We got the Troublesome Tome. The Matter of Myrmidons is the one that I want to do. And so in order to do that... Oh, we got to go back to the gate? I thought he said there was a shipment of goods, though, or something. And we couldn't get by. Or, like, a cart had blocked a road. Or some other convenient JRPG thing where they'd be like, Oh, no! A cart has blocked the way to the zone you're not supposed to go to yet. Better go back and do that quest we gave you. State your business. Pawn Guild, is it? All right. Through here and to the left. Just don't make a nuisance of yourself, eh? A indeed. I kind of remember this area. I bet there's something up here. This has the stink of treasure. I saw this little roadway that goes up to the top, and I bet we find something up here. I bet we find something. Maybe. Or, our pawn will find something. Oh man, it's just gonna loop back around. And the only difference now is that I have hiccups. Man, how you gonna do me like that, world? How you gonna do me like that? I greet you with pep in my step and a song in my heart. And you run me around, don't give me treasure, and then I get hiccups. This is why I sleep. This is why I sleep. Tis better to dream. Tis better to dream, dear sir. Is better to dream. Man, this pawn over here is looking fancy. She got a crown on and everything. Wait, I can loot this? I thought it said there's an interaction. Yeah, I was going to say, there's a twig bean right there. I mean, I don't need small nuts or anything like that. 
I think I'll stick with the ones that I have. So who are we trying to talk to out here? Hmm. Looking kind of empty over in this region. There's a lot of farming going on. People are doing a lot of work with random grasses and grains. Still, the neighborhood doesn't seem that bad. The craftsman's quarter. Wait, didn't he say down that way into the left? Okay, so here's the left. Ooh, there's a big building right here. What is this? So this is the pawn guild. Welcome, Arisen. We have awaited your coming. This pawn is called Barnaby. I tend to the affairs of the pawn guild. The guild serves as a place of rest for pawns and as the gate to the Everfall. The Everfall lies beneath Grand Sorin. It is a place of great importance to our kind. But for now, let us rejoice in the coming of the Arisen, the light that guides the Legion. Hooray for me! We walked up and he gave us money. How good is our life right now where we just walk up to random people and they hand off gold? It's the greatest. It grieves me to burden you, weary from the road as you must be, but I fear trouble brews. I would beg your assistance in this matter, Arisen, if it please you. You have my thanks. Beyond lies the Everfall. An ancient place that sleeps beneath Grand Sorin's stones. We pawns have long served as keepers of the entrance to this place. But since the dragon's coming, a strange aura has filled the Everfall. A presence. If it be some omen of evil to come, we cannot allow it to go unchecked. I ask that you seek out the cause of the change, or some proof of what's happened. The Everfall is a place unique unto itself. This is not a simple task, nor a favor I ask lightly, which is why I ask you, Arisen. Please, lend us your aid. Doesn't seem like you were asking. It seems more like you were telling. Oh, I can just go right in? Well, I'm going to call this the end of the episode then. This is a good spot to stop at. It's time for us to go into the Everfall and apparently do all kinds of thrilling heroics. I will see you all later. This is Dragon's Dogma. My name is Splattercat, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Hi to everybody.